Hi, this is Shadi. Today we're going to be looking at a very interesting martial concept and that is the marriage between Tomiki Aikido and Kodokan Judo. So we're going to be looking at an old Hal Sharp production from the 2010 and see how the two blend their fundamentals into one. So the founder behind this is Tadayuki Sato and he is a judoka his father was uh, a teacher of course later in college in waseda he really focused on tomiki aikido and so he came up with fuko judo or renaissance judo and we're gonna see the blend between the two but before we do that of course please don't forget to check out my book the origins and history of judo a translation of the manuscript by uchida from 1903 available in French and English bilingual with modern Japanese link will be below so first let's start with Hanmi Handachi which is um, a situation where you are seated or uh, on your knees and then someone attacks you standing up so the first thing we notice is that in order to grab you standing up they have to compromise their posture so a lot of the job of the unbalancing is already done so here he's explaining that the same reaping concepts that are done from the inside and the outside uh, they are done with the hands of course and here you see you can also target the inside of the knee as well so they are bent over taking down the front leg of course will make them fall here is like a little ko soto gari and it gets them to really uh, fall it's really not a challenge because of the uh, situation that you are in now here you can see go on the outside and then reap it forward very similar to ko soto but of course the finish is done with the hands so it is a blend between the reaping techniques of judo with kibisu gaishi or what people call the ankle pick and so here you start to see a little bit of how he blended the two so now let's take a look at the footwork of this so a lot of people adding self-defense you know gripping to one arm with two you can see it in old school jujitsu gracie jujitsu here he adjusts his stance in order to become face-to-face uh, -face with the aggressor and later takes on the arm lock but what I noticed that was interesting is the footwork or the tai sabaki that got him into this position so it's uh, it's a bit like the left versus right in judo where you want to square yourself with the opponent and so you do the tai sabaki sequence that you see here by Olympic champion Arai and later afterwards attacks with Uchimata so um, you can see the footwork also is being adopted into this and of course the waki gatame uh, at the end as a finish so you can see all these elements blending together you have the Aikido scenarios and grips the footwork of judo and of course the arm locks which both share now let's take a look at something that can easily be applied when you are doing newaza or you are rolling uh, you see this quite a lot uh, people who sit down or guard pullers whatever and uh, you tend to see someone maybe gripping your ankle try to pull it to the side and you want to sweep them basically so this scissor sweep uh, is very much being done in competition today so here blocking at the back with the front of the ankle and kicking or chopping off with the uh, upper leg so uh, it's like a scissor sweep uh, again you can see it in the old self-defense uh, images from the 1890s etc here he explains that you post your arms in order to have a lot more control with your hips now here he explains that this is very beneficial for things like guard passes so he's showing the toreando pass and uh, of course you can just grab the ankle and go to the side and proceed to uh, pass the legs so 
the same you can do but reversed but this time you get them to go forward if it doesn't take them down it will at least uh, unbalance them and from there you can do whatever like in jujitsu they say wrestle up or whatever it may be so notice of course from the back is going to be slightly more complicated than from the front because the knee can actually bend and they can take a step forward so uh, here you can see it it's the same it's just reversed because of the uh, they basically put themselves uh, on the side so here they can not necessarily fall down properly but you can still attack the back and the uh, turtle so finally of course arm drags this can end in many submissions like Ude Gatame and others or you can use it as a sacrificing throw which this particular system has a lot as well as self-defense I don't know much about sparring because I tried to find something but it's mostly a lot of techniques and drills but you can see I really like how everything is blended together now uh, the arm drags are very versatile it can be an entry to a lot of things such as arm locks and throws, sacrificing throws, uh, leg throws. For example, of course, everyone knows Marcelo Garcia likes the uh, arm drag entry uh, into Kouchi Gake, not just Ukiwaza. Uh, it can be very versatile, as I mentioned. So you can see uh, it's just absolutely endless uh, because of this unbalancing so this particular unbalancing is that you're bringing them close to you and then you are moving to the side which gives them uh, a path to go onto and from there you can capitalize whether you can catch the leg that's coming through or you can block it as you go down but uh, nonetheless it's very versatile and um, i really like the idea of this but uh I don't know much about this it seems a very niche thing but the founder of course much like uh, Tomiki and even uh, Ueshiba they've sparred they've done a lot of uh, training I'm sure like he was in Waseda he was doing judo all his life his father is a judo teacher so I don't know much about sparring I really wish there would be sparring in such a type of uh, system notice the lack of wrist locks i did not i i, I saw more judo in, in my opinion with the allure of aikido rather than a lot of wrist locks and a very little amplitude with the throw so uh take from that what you will uh, if you have anything to add let me know down below don't forget to check out my book uh, in the description and in the pinned comments this was shady and thank you for listening